In the 1940s, Copacabana Beach, located in the iconic neighborhood of the same name in the city of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, captivated both residents and tourists with its stunning natural beauty and lively atmosphere. Besides providing leisure moments, the beach played a crucial role as a meeting point and stage for social and cultural events. In the 70s, the city of Rio de Janeiro experienced a vibrant and eclectic atmosphere. Bathed by the waters of the Atlantic Ocean, the city radiated a unique sense of relaxation and cultural richness. The iconic beaches, such as Copacabana, Ipanema, and Leblon, were favorite spots for both locals and visitors to gather and enjoy leisure moments. In the 1980s, the neighborhood of Copacabana, located in Rio de Janeiro, remained an emblematic and lively place, famous for its vibrant atmosphere and cultural diversity. The Avenida Atlantica, which ran along the beachfront, constituted a stunning backdrop, filled with residential buildings and hotels, showcasing the distinctive architecture of the time. In the 1980s, the iconic beach of Ipanema remained the pulsating heart of life in the neighborhood. Vacationers delighted in the wide stretch of sand and refreshing waters of the Atlantic Ocean. The landscape was enriched by majestic coconut trees, whose tall palms provided a welcoming shade for the visitors. In the 1980s, on the beaches of Rio de Janeiro, the bikini underwent a notable evolution, reflecting fashion trends and the spirit of the time. Swimwear in this decade was known for a more daring and colorful style. Bikinis became more form-fitting, with bolder cuts on the sides and back, resulting in greater exposure of the skin. In the enchanting year of 1984, on the island of Paqueta, located in Rio de Janeiro, the horse-drawn carriages played an essential role as one of the main forms of transportation, adding a nostalgic and picturesque atmosphere to the region. These animal-drawn vehicles pulled by horses charmingly traversed the narrow and serene streets of the island, becoming a significant part of the local life. Copacabana Beach was indeed a true meeting point for various sports activities and leisure moments. People of all ages gathered to play soccer, volleyball, fresco bowl, and other beach games, contributing to a contagious and enjoyable atmosphere. In 1984, Copacabana Beach remained an authentic symbol of Carioca culture. In 1984, the neighborhood of Engenho Novo, located in Rio de Janeiro, enchanted with its authentic and welcoming atmosphere, typical of the city's traditional residential areas. The streets of Engenho Novo were a harmonious blend of old houses and more modern buildings, symbolizing the evolution of the neighborhood over the years. The residences preserved the architectural charm of the time, providing a sense of nostalgia and history to the region. In 1984, the neighborhood of Jardim, located in the city of Petropolis, in the state of Rio de Janeiro, displayed a serene and enchanting atmosphere, typical of historical residential areas. The streets of the neighborhood were surrounded by lush greenery, with majestic trees casting shadows on the sidewalks, providing a pleasant feeling of freshness and a connection with nature. In the 1990s, Ipanema Beach in Rio de Janeiro maintained its status as an iconic and lively location, attracting both tourists and locals seeking leisure moments by the seaside. The girls on the beach reflected the diversity and beauty of Rio de Janeiro. With colorful bikinis and various swimwear styles, they enjoyed the tropical sun and refreshing waters of the Atlantic Ocean to relax, swim, and socialize with friends. In the 1980s, Parody, located on the coast of the state of Rio de Janeiro, was a historical city, displaying a unique combination of natural beauty and cultural heritage. The colonial charm was evident in the cobblestone streets and well-preserved mansions dating back to the times of colonial Brazil. The traditional architecture created a charming and nostalgic atmosphere, allowing visitors to take a true journey back in time. In the 1980s, Arpoador Beach in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, maintained its natural and enchanting essence, winning the hearts of local residents and visitors alike. The beach's fame, thanks to its ideal waves for surfing, attracted surfers, contributing to a lively and relaxed atmosphere. In the year 1984, Avenida Atlantica, located in Copacabana, Rio de Janeiro, stood out as one of the city's most emblematic thoroughfares, renowned for its proximity to the famous beach and being a lively and diverse meeting point. Along the avenue, majestic coconut trees lined up, providing refreshing shade to pedestrians walking along the sidewalk. Avenida Atlantica was a place of constant activity. From the early hours of the morning, local residents took advantage of the scenery for refreshing walks or outdoor exercise, enjoying the gentle sea breeze that blew softly. 
The coming and going of pedestrians were accompanied by the sounds of the sea creating a relaxing and pleasant atmosphere. In 1992, Copacabana Beach, located in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, continued to be one of the country's most popular and enchanting destinations. Its popularity remained unshaken, attracting a large number of visitors and local residents. The boardwalk that bordered the waterfront, famous for its beautiful Portuguese mosaic stones, provided a pleasant and relaxing walk, inviting people to enjoy the stunning scenery and lively atmosphere of the region. In the year 1984, the city park of Gavia, located in Rio de Janeiro, was a true green and tranquil oasis, serving as a refuge for local residents seeking relaxation and a connection with nature. The park offered a spacious wooded area, filled with lush trees and abundant vegetation, creating a pleasant and shaded atmosphere, perfect for walks, picnics, and moments of contemplation of the surrounding natural beauty. In 1984, in the historical city of Petropolis, located in the state of Rio de Janeiro, a peculiar carriage caught the attention of locals and visitors. This unique carriage was pulled by a goat, a truly unusual sight in the urban environment. The vehicle, with a simple and rustic structure, was constructed with traditional materials of the time, such as wood and iron, adding even more charm to its singularity. In 1984, in the vibrant urban landscape of Rio de Janeiro, the streets came to life with a variety of captivating and authentic scenes. People from different backgrounds and paths shared spaces, forming a rich tapestry of cultures and lifestyles. With the sun shining in the sky, the city buzzed with the constant movement of cars, buses, and pedestrians, creating a dynamic and energetic atmosphere. In 1984, in the historical city of Petropolis, located in the state of Rio de Janeiro, the Santos Dumont House and Museum stood out as a place of great importance. The house, where the renowned Brazilian aviator Alberto Santos Dumont resided for some years, was transformed into a museum dedicated to preserving his memory and legacy. During the 1970s, the female style in Brazil underwent significant transformations that reflected the social and cultural changes of the time. Influenced by the women's liberation movements, women sought a more liberated, expressive, and laid-back fashion. In the 1980s, the contrast between the favelas and Copacabana in Rio de Janeiro was striking and symbolized the marked social differences present in the city. On one side, Copacabana was one of the most famous and touristy neighborhoods in the region, known for its paradisiacal beaches and lively nightlife. On the other hand, the favelas sprawled across the steep hills surrounding the neighborhood, revealing a distinct and challenging social and economic reality for many of the city's residents. In Rio de Janeiro in the mid-1980s, the most common and iconic police cars were the Fuscas, Volkswagen Beetles. These compact and distinctive vehicles became a familiar presence on the city streets. The Fusca, known for its iconic shape and classic design, was chosen as a police vehicle due to its ease of maintenance, low cost, and reliability. In the 1980s, on the bustling streets of Avenida Atlantica and Copacabana, Rio de Janeiro, the Fusca taxi was a common and characteristic sight of the urban scenery. The Fuscas used as taxis were a popular choice for public transportation at the time, their compact and sturdy design made them ideal for navigating the busy city roads. In the 1980s, the Cristo Redentor, Christ the Redeemer, continued to be one of the most iconic and recognizable symbols of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Situated atop the Corcovado Hill, the monument attracted tourists and local residents who climbed the steep hill to admire the majestic statue and the breathtaking panoramic view of the city. With its arms open wide and welcoming expression, the statue of Christ the Redeemer remained a powerful symbol of faith and peace for many Brazilians. In 1978, the view of Leblon and Ipanema beaches in Rio de Janeiro was breathtaking. The horizon stretched majestically, revealing an impressive landscape that harmoniously blended with the intense blue of the sky and sea. From the golden sands of the beaches to the lush green hills surrounding the region, the nature of Rio offered a unique and stunning backdrop. With this natural charm, we come to the end of our video. Subscribe to our channel and leave a comment to share your impressions.